Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we have space weather to discuss, a weather record, a cosmic sight for the season, Antarctic changes over the last two decades, and something enormous about Earth is energetically backwards from what they thought it was. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we find the far side eruptive activity continues. The sunspots responsible are almost back in view, CMEs pounding out from the left side just behind the limb. Coronal Hole faces us tomorrow night, and by that time, the sunspot should be visible coming over that limb. The northernmost of the group is coming first, then the southern spots will come in the day or two that follows. Solar flaring is expected to return to the M-Class range this week, if not higher, and helioseismic returns from the far side via Dr. Tony Phillips and SDO show three big spots to monitor. Here they come over the horizon now. Folks, I'm not sure what it takes to break a snow record in Iceland, but it just happened, so that's fun. I blame cow farts and those making fun of Greta, but don't worry. The snow identifies as a heat wave, so the propaganda may proceed. Up next, let's go out to a gorgeous sight in the disk of the Milky Way driven by star clusters and gas and dust. While visible light doesn't do much but hint at hidden clouds of material darkly hiding amidst the stars, infrared shows the glow of the dust that is enshrouding the stars of the cluster. Looks like the bat signal, obvious why they posted that one yesterday. Excellent climate paper up next, Antarctica is cooling. Not only did we get word earlier this year that ice loss has reversed into a gain at the southern pole, the actual temperatures at the southern continent are now dropping too. So much for that polar amplification of warming. And last but not least, an outstanding paper looking at how the electromagnetic and plasma dynamics in geospace work and should be characterized. Forever, scientists have thought there was a general simple electric setup to the area around the Earth, but the morning side of the magnetic field turns out that's negative and flows to positive on the dusk side, with stability driven by a constant energy flow into the Earth system from the solar wind. Climatologists have their fingers in their ears right now for that part. Geophysicists are hoping we'll quickly forget they had this completely backwards as of a few weeks ago, but you should listen to everything they say going forward. I guess I'm a little salty this morning. Folks, this afternoon a special video is coming for subscribers of The Observer Review. Our monthly e-magazine special release this month is a deeper dive video on Micronova Science and the Solar System Shift. It is the only active publication on this planet tracking Earth's disaster cycle, and the next e-magazine issue is coming in two weeks. When you sign up, you get instant access to everything we've ever published. Link is below. We only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training is today. I'm going to get my butt kicked a little bit by an absolute killer. Observer Speed Dating 2.0, November 7th and 8th. We do still have a couple of spots left. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Film premiere in the last Pole Shift Conference of the year, middle of the month. Come out for the end of our rookie season. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone